Hello, everyone, and welcome to another Baxter Student Ambassador Program webinar. Presenting for us today is Lindy Chapman, one of our finalists from Capilano University. Now, before we get started, I'd like to let all of you know that if you have any questions during this presentation, feel free to type them into the Q&A box, which is found in your Zoom toolbar, and those questions will be answered after the presentation has finished. Hi, Lindy. How are you today? Very well. Thank you, Dan. Great. So since you're already sharing your screen with us, Lindy, you can get started whenever you're ready. Thank you. Welcome to my presentation on Jamaica. Thank you for being here today. Researching Jamaica has been an amazing experience. I've learned about the history and culture of Jamaican people, and I will share some of this with you in my presentation. This beautiful island in the Caribbean Sea has so much to offer. The natural beauty is in abundance, and the people are as warm as the climate. Reading reviews from travelers on TripAdvisor tells of writers' life-changing stories after having visited this island. I've learned that this is where the delicious Blue Mountain coffee bean comes from, and how from the top of that mountain, Haiti and Cuba can be seen. There's so much to tell you about tourism on this tropical island, and I've chosen to do so in three ways. I'm going to introduce you to a few properties. Some are affordable, others luxurious, but the traveler's budget will guide them. I will also suggest a couple of tours on offer and various activities and sites that most travelers would be keen to take part in. Because this island has so many scenic areas, places of interests and idyllic spots, I've decided to focus my journey around the island on four main destinations that most travelers frequent, namely Kingston, the capital, and then traveling westwards to Negro, north to Montego Bay, and east to Ocorios. Come with me on this journey. You won't be sorry. Jamaica is the third largest island in the Caribbean, with Cuba and Hispaniola being the first and second respectively. This country heavily depends on tourism and is a tourist destination to more than 4.3 million travelers each year. Let's look at some fun facts. Jamaica has been signed, cited as one of the top world places to visit in 2020. You will no doubt be aware that Bob Marley, considered one of the pioneers of reggae music, was born in Jamaica, with the country being cited as the birthplace of the Rastafari religion. What you may not be aware of is that in 2020, Bob Marley would have turned 75 years old. In fact, his birthday was last week on the 6th of February. On the right is a statue of him outside the Bob Marley Museum in Kingston, the capital of Jamaica. Ian Fleming, author of 007 Brand, grew up in London, but after World War II, he spent his winters in Jamaica, where he did much of his writing. The soon to be released 25th James Bond movie titled No Time to Die is set in Jamaica, and the storyline goes that 007, having left actor's service, is enjoying a tranquil life in Jamaica, which we know couldn't possibly be true. The north coast, east of Ocho Rios, has the well-known James Bond and Goldeneye beaches frequented by the rich and famous. Canada has good, good ties with Jamaica. Here in the photograph from left to right, during a stop in Toronto offices of Press Today, we have Donovan White, Jamaica's Director of Tourism, David McClung from Baxter Media, Angela Bennett, Jamaica's Tourism Board Regional Manager, and Edmund Bartlett, J Jamaica's Minister of Tourism. They met together in October saying that they are on track to welcome half a million Cana Canadians to Jamaica in 2020. Here we see a close view of the island with its various ports and numerous towns dotted along the coastline. The Jamaicans refer to different units of local government on their island as parishes. The parishes were created following the English invasion of Jamaica in 1655. This administrative structure for the colony of Jamaica developed slowly. However, since 1 May 1867, Jamaica has been divided into currently 14 parishes. The Jamaicans refer to their island as the Rock, Jam Rock. Main airlines flying from Canada to Jamaica are Air Transat, United Airlines, Air Canada and WestJet. Flying time is between four and a half hours from Toronto and nine hours from Calgary, 
with costs from $390 one way from Toronto. There are three international airports in Jamaica, one in Montego Bay, one in Kingston, and the third one in Arco Rios. Jamaica has an ideal climate temperature between the mid 70s to the high 80s degree Fahrenheit, making it an all year round destination. December to April is the peak travel season with many events being offered at this time, such as the Reggae Marathon in December, the Jamaican Jazz and Blues Festival in Montego Bay in January, Bob Marley Week over his birthday month in February, with some attractions being postponed over the rainy and hurricane season from June to November. With so much on offer in Jamaica, it's difficult to mention everything available in this presentation. I've chosen to focus on four main regions in Jamaica, and once there, travelers are free to make their own way around the island with local and hired transport to discover all that this island has to offer. Here, I will travel with you and show you a small slice of what is available. Accommodation varies from luxury all-inclusive, cosmopolitan resorts, their adult and couple resorts, family accommodation, and Airbnbs. There are many cultural sites with water sports and restaurants and hikes. Jamaica offers something for everyone. In Jam a Caribbean island nation with lush topography of mountains, rainforests, and reef line beaches, many of its all inclusive resorts are clustered in Montego Bay with its British colonial architecture and Negril known for its diving and snorkeling sites. Jamaica is famed as the birthplace of reggae music and its capital Kingston is home to Bob Marley Museum, dedicated to the famous singer. In the north, Arco Rios offers world-class cuisine and the aforementioned sandy beaches. In Jamaica, you can be whomever you want to. If you are eccentric and you enjoy adventurous off the beaten track experiences, there are many places on offer. If you're psychocentric and prefer the familiar environments you can relate to, there's lots there for you. Let's start with the capital Kingston in the southeast part of the island. Kingston is the largest city in Jamaica. Like many countries, Jamaica has been hit by crime. It would be amiss not to mention the present state of the nation in Jamaica and to remain transparent regarding crime in Jamaica the electoral officers have extended the state of emergencies in Kingston and Montego Bay until spring due to a spike in crimes. This will put a lot of pressure on the Jamaican Tourism Board and its people. That being said, when visiting any new country, it's always advisable to consult with travel agents regarding the areas in which to be vigilant. When on holiday and visiting unknown destinations, one should ask locals and hosts about the safe areas to travel. Jamaica Discovery, one of the leading tour operators in Jamaica, offers three, seven and 10 days sightseeing tours with all things Jamaican and the full cast of Jamaican people. Jamaica Discovery is an authentic day in the life vacation with an emphasis on showcasing the true Jamaica and its rich culture, which will captivate and entertain. Included on Appleton East Rum Tour, Trip to Pelican Bar, Dolphin Quest and Black River Safari, Rick's Cafe and Negril's Seven Miles Beach and more. Jamaica Discovery Tours concludes by saying, change the world by sharing ours and we will never remain unchanged. A sight to see is Devon House. Here is a tour of one of the finest specimens of British plantation houses anywhere in the world. This should be high on the priority of places to visit in Kingston. It's a magnificent building which dates back to 1881 with beautiful 19th century Georgian architecture. The Blue Mountains is the longest mountain range in Jamaica. They include the island's highest point. Blue Mountain Peak, 2,200 meters above sea level, and from the summit, which is accessible via a walking track, both the north and south coasts of the island can be seen. Many people hike or bike through these mountains. The hike is approximately three and a half mile journey into the heart of Jamaica. Tours are offered or you can hike on your own. From the top of the Blue Mountain, on a clear day, you can see Haiti and Cuba. Enjoy the scenic drive through the Blue Mountains in Jamaica, where some of the world's best coffee is grown. This tour provides 
round trip transportation, which means you can relax and take in the views. Stop for local Jamaican treats, as well as lunch of Ittle stew, and then up at the end to Devon House for a coffee tasting and ice cream. Next, we venture to Negril. Negril is a town in Western Jamaica. Negril is known for diving and snorkeling, miles of sandy beaches on shallow bays with calm turquoise waters. Seven Mile Beach, particularly the portion overlooking Long Bay, is lined with bars, restaurants and resorts, many of them international and all inclusive. Long Bay opens onto a lagoon protected by coral reefs and is a snorkeling and scuba diving destination. There are shallow reefs with lots to see. Negril is known as the more laid back, relaxing area to visit. In Negril, I've chosen to highlight Skylark, Negril Beach Resort. This resort is a 75 minute scenic drive from Montego Bay's Donald Stangster International Airport. So you will need to arrange transport for your clients. Kenny Tours Company provides shuttles to and from the airport and has been in business for more than 30 years. Their drivers are friendly, knowledgeable about local history and known for playing great reggae tunes. At Skylark, all studios have their own 200 square foot private balcony with a view of the ocean or garden. Your studio accommodation includes a king size four poster bed, dressing area and closet, bathroom with Caribbean essential spa amenities, air, aloe and coconut lavender soaps, air conditioning, mini bars, complimentary Wi-Fi, all this from 160 US dollars per night per person. Approximately a week will cost you 2,240 US dollars, which excludes flights, meals and transfers. I've also chosen to present to you Beaches Negril, a sandals all-inclusive property for the whole family. This adventurous paradise, all-inclusive vacation, offers all gourmet meals, snacks all day, unlimited alcoholic and non-alcoholic drinks, water and land sports, entertainment, complimentary air sh shuttle, all taxes and tips are included here, and it's a safe and secure property. Here, for a package of two adults and two children, you're looking at just over 10,000 US dollars, which excludes your air flights. Montego Bay is our next stop, and Jamaica's north coast cultural capital, especially catering to tourists. Here I featured one of the many Sandals properties on the island. There are eight in total. Sandals Royal Caribbean in Montego Bay is an all-inclusive adults only resort. Here you have your own private offshore island and included are all your gourmet meals, all alcoholic and non-alcoholic drinks, activities, hotel transfer, and in the high season, which is nine months of the year, you're looking at just over six and a half thousand US dollars for two adults sharing. Croydon Plantation Tours is another plantation tour, this time in Montego Bay. By actively engaging in these plantation tours, the tourist contributes to the Jamaican economy and to the many locals' livelihoods. These tours are offered around the base of the Catadupa Mountains and a chance to sample some of Jamaica's homegrown produce, such as citrus fruits, sugarcane, coffee. The tour ends with a barbecued lunch served with Blue Mountain coffee. Our tour ends in Oco Rios, an all-round destination with beautiful beaches, many attractions and world-class restaurants. Oco Rios offers a nightlife and exciting shopping experience. Oki, as the locals fondly refer to it, is more upbeat, with Negril being more laid back. Oco Rios, a former fishing village, is now a resort, with a cruise ship harbour and a busy bay beach, lined with hotels. Accommodation in Oco Rios varies from all-inclusive resorts to Airbnb to your exclusive luxury villas, an example of this is the Fleming Villa, where for 2,850 US dollars per night, 10 guests get their own chef, butler, and housekeeper. Feeling adventurous? Why not try river rafting on the Martha Bray River? An experience well worth the journey between Montego Bay and Ocarios. 
Set three miles down a river on a safe, cozy, handcrafted bamboo raft guided by experienced local captains. This trip also includes a visit to Miss Martha's Herb Garden, a display of Jamaica's indigenous flora and their med medical properties. World-class cuisine awaits you in Arco Rios. An example is Miss T's Caribbean Kitchen, with many top reviews, offering local cuisine at its best and most colorful. Having seen all the various properties and resorts on offer, let's look at what is available in the Airbnb holiday rental around the island. I've chosen three properties. The Tumbleweed Cottage, which has its private pool and in an acre garden setting for $240 per night. There's the Mandela Beach Hut on Treasure Beach. And there's the gated village near Oco Rios, which sleeps six for $265 per night. For a total stay, excluding food transfers and flights, you'd be looking at between $1,200 and $1,900 US dollars. Looking back at the various properties viewed, let's see what some total costs are. If we compare self-catering with all-inclusive for a family of four on a seven-day Jamaican holiday, we're looking at a total for the self-catering of just over $7,000. If we look at the fully inclusive resort, that's almost twice the amount for 13,000. With all this beauty on offer in Jamaica, it's only fitting that we turn our attention to sustainable tourism on this island paradise. Here we look at ecotourism, the definition being travel to natural areas that conserves the environment and improves the well being of local people. It is development that meets the needs of the present without compromising the needs of the future. This island in the Caribbean I have grown fond of through my research is one of the five vulnerable hotspots in the world. Following the DeVos Declaration in 2007, the United Nations Environment Programme and United National World Tourism Organization committed to protect sensitive areas of the world, coastal zones, small islands, mountainous areas. All these areas relate to the island of Jamaica. Jamaica is home to 40 rare or threatened animals on our planet. Traveling is a privilege, not a right. We need to be good global citizens and good travelers we can't ignore the carbon emissions our industry is putting into the atmosphere. Planes alone contribute to 8% of global emission. So what can we do? Well, already there are innovative things happening in travel. There are zero waste trips, carbon neutral trips, five star lodges that have eliminated all pl plastics from their operations. Measuring the economic impact on your trip in your destination and reporting it. Reduce your annual number of flights and instead increase your stay period. This saves on emission and increases revenue at your destination. So sustainable travel is not about the destination you visit only, but about you as well, the traveler, being sensitive to the host country's political, environmental and social culture. In conclusion, I hope that I've educated you about Jamaica and its many offerings. I have thoroughly enjoyed researching and relaying my knowledge of this beautiful Caribbean island. The island of Jamaica is a retreat, rich in natural beauty with strong cultural offerings. A Jamaican holiday can include adventure, water activities or simple relaxation. Whether you are single, a couple or a family wanting a vacation, this holiday is for everyone. From previous slides, we explained that a family of four can stay self-catering or all-inclusive, accommodation being between $7,000 and $13,000 respectively. My journey researching Jamaica has been one of excitement and awe, and this is definitely a destination, in my opinion, your traveler should visit. And in the words of Bob Marley, one love, one heart. Let's get together and feel all right. Thank you. Thank you very much, Lindy. So we'll open it up now for people to submit any questions that they may have. 
And once again, you can submit those to either the Q&A box or the chat box. And if anyone here in the room with me has uh, a question, I'll put them on the line. Thank you, Dan. Hi, Lindy. Uh, nice presentation. I've been to Jamaica several times and love it. So I think if you get a chance to go there, you're going to love it too. It's uh, my name's Wendy, and I'm with Baxter Media. Hello, I would like, hi. I just want to know: Did you do any research on uh, travel agent commissions? Do they get commission on any of these um, hotels or or packages? Were you able um, to find out anything? No, Wendy, I'll be honest, I haven't been able to. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Lindy. And I'm just keeping an eye on the Q&A box and chat box here, but nothing has been submitted yet. Uh, hi, Lindy. My name is Ian Stalker. I work with Dan. I'm going to put you on the spot here. You uh, obviously searched the country. If you were going to choose one of the, uh, the uh, locations you looked at, which one would it be and why? I would definitely go to Arco Rios. Um, I just feel it, it, it has something there. Um, the cuisine obviously gets me because I love food. And there's something about the beaches and... Yes, I, I think it's just a feeling that I would love to go to. Maybe Wendy, having been there, could tell us what she thinks, but that, that's definitely where I'd go. Thank you. Okay, great. Thanks. I agree with you on that one. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Wendy. And uh, Nazmi says, thank you, Lindy. I really enjoyed listening to you. Listening to you. What are the prices based on? Are they based on length of time? Yes, it would be nightly, nightly rates. So I did quite a lot of online research and I spoke to some various agents, very nice agents at Sandals, I must say. Um, and so, so it would be nightly rates. But I always feel if you're going to go somewhere, seven days would be, in my opinion, the minimum. Excellent, thank you. And Nazmi also asks, what is Jamaica doing in terms of sustainable travel? They are getting together with a lot of organizations, as you saw with Canada. They, they have been close with the United Nations and the World Trade Organization. So they are part of the different sustainable tourism groups that are out there. Wonderful. Thank you. Okay, I do believe that's it for the questions for this webinar, but I'd like to thank everyone that tuned in today. Thank you all so much for taking time out of your day. And Lindy, thank you so much for presenting for us. Thank you very much, Dan, and thank you to the panel. Absolutely. On behalf of Baxter Media, I'd like to thank you for participating in the 2020 Baxter Student Ambassador Program. We'll be in touch. Thank you, Dan. Goodbye. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye. <laughs>